What's up you guys? Welcome to this week's One Piece review and in this week's chapter 875 we have Brook and Chopper being intercepted by Barrow Sparrow and Dogtooth and like I said in my last video I'm not too happy with this whole Nami and Zeus ex machina that's going on. To me it seems like a very cheap tactic that's been pulled out of thin air. We expect um, Zeus, one of Big Mom's three main homies besides Prometheus and Napoleon, who's been with Big Mom the majority of her life and is created from Big Mom's very own soul to become this sudden somewhat traitor or turncoat for the sake of a couple of clouds that seem yummy to it. To me, it's like um, Kisame versus um, Killer B. We suddenly are supposed to believe that Kisame's sword Sami Hada just suddenly turns against um, Kisami after being his friend and companion for years and decades because Killer B has more tastier chakra. And at that point, it's just, to me, it seems really cheap, especially in One Piece. And it makes me also beg the question, if Big Mom has created these homies, is it possible for her to undo her creations and potentially get rid of certain homies? And in this crazy hungry state that she's in um can she just simply get rid of zeus to me she just seems very lenient right now i mean she's killed her own son for less for less problems i mean her son just tried to calmly stop her and calm her down and she took his soul and the rest of his lifespan zeus is openly disobeying orders from big mom also we see that nami turns this whole thing with Zeus eating the clouds to her advantage and summons a giant thunderbolt out of the sky to strike Big Mom down. And we also see, as far as the homies are concerned, as far as Prometheus is concerned, um, that he's not affected by hockey. And that they're kind of superior to Logia users in that regard, that hockey doesn't actually allow you to hit their physical bodies. But as we've seen with Gene Bay using water, they are still affected by or weak to certain elemental weaknesses. And I don't know, that's something interesting definitely to see that Prometheus is immune to hockey and cannot be hit by Luffy, but at the same time, easily defeated by water from Jinbei. And it makes me wonder how exactly did Brooke manage to land some blows on both of them. But also, we see that Big Mom still is somewhat unscathed from the thunderbolt she seems somewhat stunned and phased but not critically injured or hurt um and we also see that she phone and pudding are heading towards sanji and them and we see that dog tooth is still sitting on the thousand sunny with brook and chopper but to me this whole issue with zeus it just seems contrived and random and i just don't like it and i don't know i don't know it would be really weird if Zeus just gets off scotch-free for this because we've seen Moscato, Big Mom's her own son, killed for less. We've seen a lot of her other children scared to even lie about certain things and Zeus is here openly fraternizing with the enemy. So I would like to see some type of reprimanding here or something. But maybe we'll see Zeus die in the next chapter. Um, I still hope Big Mom resumes her attack against Luffy and the rest of his crew but also at the same time it is critical that they escape and with Beige Capone coming to the rescue we might have another off spot here um forgive me if I'm sweating it's hot in here but this is VM like comment share subscribe what did you think about this chapter bye